Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of my sub 30 tutorials. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at the modulation section. Uh, previously we've looked at the oscillators, the mixer, uh, the filter and the envelopes. Uh, just looking at the basic workings of those. Um, and so now we're going to look at, like I said, the modulation. So the first thing we're going to do, as always, is we're going to press the activate panel button, make sure it's on. And uh, now you're just going to be hearing the basic sound of what is how the synth is currently set up. Make sure your mod wheel is down so we're not hearing any modulation. Uh, we just want to reset everything. So open the filter all the way and just set everything to zero. Uh, and the envelopes, everything to zero. Leave the sustain on 10, otherwise we won't hear anything. Um, and if you do it on the mixer, we'll just have one oscillator. So turn everything down apart from oscillator one. It doesn't really matter where you've got the octave. I'm going to put mine on uh, eight. And I've got a uh, triangle wave. Okay, so let's take a look at the modulation section. Um, so this is the modulation section here. Um, you won't hear any effect unless you turn up the mod wheel. So when you turn up the mod wheel, you've basically, you're going to start hearing the LFO and the modulation. So let's look at the uh, dials on that. Let's just zoom in. Okay, so this top one, this is your LFO rate, and you can see by the LED of how fast it's going. So you turn it up, you see it flashes faster. And then you've got a source switch. So this is, uh, you've got different waveforms, you've got sawtooth, you've got square, so triangle, square sawtooth um you've got random and you've got the filter envelope which is you can actually set it to the filter envelope so the lfo is following what that does uh, then we've got pitch amount so that's modulation uh mod modulating the pitch uh, we've got a pitch amount oscillator to only button so if you only want to affect the pitch uh, for oscillator 2, then you press that. Um, we've got filter amount. So this is how much the modulation is affecting the filter. Uh, and then we've got the wave amount, which is how much the modulation is affecting your waveforms uh, in your oscillators, I believe. So let's have a listen. So we'll turn the mod wheel to full. to turn one of these up so essentially you can modulate the pitch the filter or the wave so let's turn up the pitch so I've got it set on square wave there and as you start to change the rate you'll hear it so let's try going through the different uh, waveforms you'll hear different effects. sounds a bit modular. If you put it on the filter envelope, uh, because we set that to just the sustain full and everything else zero, you probably won't hear much of an effect, but if we like raise the attack, you can't see me doing it, but you can hear that it's slowing the attack now and because we've modulated the pitch, it's going up, 
if I turned the decay up. So like if I turn the release up, you would hear it going down. No, you won't actually because I need to turn the release up on the amplifier as well. There you go. Um, okay, so that was the pitch. Uh, turn the pitch down and turn up the filter. Uh, put it back on triangle. Okay, so at the moment our filter is fully open. Uh, you'll probably hear more of an effect if you turn the filter down a bit. As you can hear there. Also might hear a bit more of an obvious effect if you turn the resonance up. That was the multi-drive I was just fiddling with. So we'll turn up oscillator 2 as well. And I've got that set. I had that set on uh, 2, but you can afford it down to 4. Um, I've just changed that to sorting. So now turn up the pitch. So I've got this on random and now we're affecting both the pitch and the filter. So as I said, you've got a button here that uh, is pitch amount oscillator to only. So let's press that and see. So it should only be doing pitch on one of the oscillators. So if we turn down oscillator 2, as you can hear, it's no longer affecting the pitch for oscillator 1. Okay, so let's uh, listen to the wave amount. So we'll turn down pitch and we'll turn down the filter and we'll just listen, turn up the wave amount. So as you can hear, there's a lot of cool effects you can get just with the modulation. And you can sort of blend them. If you bring the modulation wheel about halfway. So you can blend how much you actually want. So it's just, you know, finding a, finding a balance. But... Really, when you start fiddling with the modulation on your sounds, you're going to get a much more interesting sound um, than just your plain, unmodulated sound. So, and I think that's what, you know, it's the famous sort of analog synth uh, sound that people always, you know, you always hear in the demos. Um, so quickly, just that's pretty much it for the modulation section. From there on, you just want to experiment uh, with all the different settings you can do and um, there is a software that you can get um, as I said there are a lot of hidden functions uh, and actually they're quite difficult to access uh, I may do another video where showing you some of the shift commands you do with these buttons to access those but there is actually a software editor for this synth uh, which you can connect with the USB um, and it's it shows you all of those extra functions on the editor 
it is a lot easier to use uh, so I definitely recommend getting that I may do another vid a video showing the editor um, let me know if you want that otherwise I probably won't bother um, just quickly uh, you've also got a glide rate Fine tune, which can be useful if you're playing along to something that's not quite 100% in tune. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, that's pretty much it. So that that's pretty much all the basic functions of the synth. Um, so yeah, I mean it, it's really after that it is just fiddling with it and seeing what you can get out. And you know, uh, once you once you get your head around um, how to make a few basic sounds, then you can really start getting, you know, a bit deeper and hopefully make something original. And it really feels, you know, a lot more rewarding to make your own sounds than just load up presets. Um, and, and you can save, obviously you can save a preset here. Um, in fact, I will just show you how to do that. Oh, what have I done? Uh, so activate panel. So let me just find one I don't actually care too much about. Some bases here. That one's pretty. I can pretty easily make that. So say you want to save. Uh, you you've made your patch and you want to save it. All you have to do is hold down the bank and then hold down the patch afterwards for about two seconds and it will save it. I'll just do that now. So you hold that down, hold that, it will flash and then it will stop flashing. And now that's saved that preset in that particular bank and patch that you selected. And that's it. So hope you've enjoyed that. If you want to see more videos, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.